Welcome back to Sushi and Popcorn. I'm Delia. I'm Keith. <laughs> they all... <laughs> okay. Um, we were going through our channel mm -hmm. and trying to remember everything we did, we reacted to. Mm -hmm. And we realized we didn't react to BTS, um, Dynamite. And BTS, blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. So, what are we watching today? So, blood, sweat, and tears is another video. Is that what you're looking for? Um, we're going to do dynamite. Dynamite. Okay, six o'clock in the morning. You ready? No better time. It's a it's a good wake up song. High energy. All right. I'm I'm surprised we didn't do BTS. Uh, but okay. I'm surprised we didn't do dynamite. All right. All right. Well, without any further delay, because I mean it's been a year. Let's uh, let's hop into it. <laughs> I do miss the old logo. Big it. Who's hiding in the back? Um, oh, Jimin. we know who's hiding in the back. Jimin. <laughs> Jimin. Cause I, I, I ain't the stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire, set the night light. My shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Kink out, like get the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. Nice. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Think down, call me on my phone. Yeah. 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 Station. Believe it or not, I was playing BTS song and I turned mine off. This was on in somebody else's car. I was probably listening to it for two months and I didn't even know that it was a K pop song. <laughs> I mean, it's completely in English and it sounds like something that you would hear on Q102. Right. Or an old Navy commercial. Right. <laughs> okay, Nick, too. <laughs> I don't fanboy out of my channel. Nick does enough for both of us. Shazel. <laughs> Definitely give me cartoon that was, vibes. That was awesome. 
Um, okay, so it's BTS. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we need that for work, yo. <laughs> um, I love their music. Um, am I a fan of every single one of their songs? No. But out of 100, I will say 98 of them I love. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So that People one, are like, well, what's the two then? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm I, sure they're out there. Yeah. Floating in the great beyond. Right. Um, B, you can't take nothing away from BTS. They've worked their asses off to get where they're at. And the reason why they're at there is because they're BTS. I mean, didn't one of them just leave? Yes. And... Somebody else just signed paperwork to go to the military. Oh, my God. Who? Jimin. J-Hope. No, not my bias. Mm-hmm. I think that's why he was getting his albums out early. That's why what? he did all his work early. Okay, so that's two members. That's two. But they skipped one. Um, RM. So it's Jin, Sugar. Actually, they skipped a couple. So it's Jin, Sugar. I think Hope. RM or it might be RM Hope. I'm not sure. Somebody check me and they will. Um, Jimin, Young, JK. Sugar, I don't think signed anything yet. I think he's going to wait till his album and everything else, and like his work drops and then he'll go. But because Hope dropped his album already, did his tours, did his rounds, did his media scrubs. He's going to go do it now before he's gonna the group do it comes now. back. Yep. Wow. So R- did RM already go? RM hasn't gone yet. He's up, though. Yeah, him and Sugar up. Wow. I remember when um, I was really heavy, heavy into By Rain, Rain um, and I remember watching one of his performances, and then all of a sudden, uh, I think like that weekend, he was going away, and I was like, whoa, wow. wait, what happened here? And I was like, oh, my God. And then I didn't hear from him for a while. Um, and it's crazy because I got to experience Rain as a comedian first before an actual singer because I watched him on the show Full House. Um, it was a series, a K-pop drama series. I mean, a K-drama series. I'm glad you said that. And it I'm like, was phenomenal. It was so... Was he but, no, oh, no. But here's the thing. It would never, ever happen. Well, no. I can't say that. Yes, I can. It would never happen, Mm -hmm. okay? But unfortunately, it does happen in real life Mm -hmm. where a young woman, her parents built this house from the ground up. Mm -hmm. They died in a car accident. They left her the house. She she lives in this house. It's hers. You know, she's an aspiring writer. She ain't got to pay no bills. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. And all of a sudden, her best friends tell her, hey, you got to go. You want a trip? And you got to go to Japan or wherever and enjoy, have a great time. Well, while the bitch is gone, they sold her house. Yes. It's crazy. But it, that kind of shit happens in real life. Let the fuck happen to me. <laughs> Y'all see me in jail like, well, who she killed? Like, she came back and Rain was the owner of the home. So she basically had the, she was like, listen, no, nah, I'm going to need to get my house back. She wouldn't leave. She had nowhere to go. She got sick. She was sleeping outside. He finally let her in. He wound up letting her become the maid in her house. It was crazy. But he wound up falling in love with her. So, I'm going to let you... That's just the gist of it. But it's a crazy show. Most Asian dramas have that kind of heavy burden or some kind of crisis. And they put a lot of pressure on the lead role. But the show was so good. But when I was watching, my first initial reaction was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way you about to tell me... My two best friends, and she did. She wound up chasing them through the town and everything, trying to get to them. Like, but you sold my house. There ain't no chasing. You no sold chasing. my house. I came up to your job. I'm sitting on your doorstep <laughs> with, like, the, with the pump. Um, yeah. So because, first and off, they, you're gonna give me the money that oh, you no, made. Oh no, they blew through the money, and then they they lied to her and said, "Yeah, she's my, she's pregnant, so that's why we needed the money." That's what. No, I don't give up. Flying. But yeah, the show was good. But that's how These I are learned. Her friends? Yes, that's why I was like, "Wait, what is going on?" But those were the kind of shows that I, you know, really come out. And I'm sitting there crying, watching the show. I'm crying, but I cried through "Devil Beside Her." Um, I cried through a bucket, a thousand tears in a bucket, or whatever it's called, a bucket full of tears, something like that. I like 
I don't been crying through they murder. <laughs> but the shows were good. But that's how I discovered Rain. And then all of a sudden, I was like, somebody said, yeah, he's part of a, a, a boy band. I was like, what? And then next thing you know, I pulled it up. Same thing with Media Garden, Vanessa Wu. Um, um, it was so many of them. Well, it was four of them, but another you know, time, you know another how show. how I discovered Rain? When you went outside and seen that it was falling? Yes, but no. Um, actually, I was going to say that and you ruined it for me. <laughs> uh, so I guess I actually have to tell the story. Um, Ninja Assassin. And I didn't even know he was a K-pop star. Yes. I had no clue. That's why you get that joke in the middle of the movie. He said, um, he looks like he belongs in a boy band. And he looks up at the camera and he goes, did he hear me? That's where, that's why the joke was. But, and for a lot of people, they didn't know that he, he was also in Speed Racer. Yes, he was. Yeah. <laughs> now I think about it. Yes, he was. He was the competition. He was the owner of the other. Um, well, not the owner. No, he was the brother in all that. No, he wasn't Racer X. He was Racer X. No, he was. Oh no, he, he wasn't. No, he, he wasn't. was. He was. He the, was the guy. That, he was the guy that they were trying to help. Yes, but here's the other. Uh, thing. But he ended up doing a swerve on them. Right. Was fucking weird. Hey, hey, hey. but you a, know what's crazy is people that people don't for, like that movie, but that was actually a really good movie. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was it was a perfect translation of the cartoon. And, but the problem was people don't understand how silly that fucking cartoon, cartoon was. was. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, when he did uh, Ninja Assassin, he mm -hmm. said, that's it. I'm not doing any more of them kind of movies. It was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. He, like his training, everything was crazy for that. But anyway, I digress. Like yes, he did. And they made him, like they made them change the blood out to catch up. I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, BTS in the house. They was awesome. When are they not? Um, come back and check out the next episode where we're dropping another BTS for you guys. And we're going to keep it going. Um, until then, make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and the notification bell at the top. So you know when we are dropping our next segment. Until mm -hmm. then, please, please, please be safe out there. <laughs>